Welcome or welcome back. My name is Kim and I just wanted to let you all know that my channel is going to have a name change. So what was Kim's Creations is now going to be Kim's Art Alchemy. Why the name change? Well, because there are at least three other channels with the name Kim's Creations spelled exactly the same way mine does, which makes it confusing for people to find me as well as relocate me once they have. So Kim's Art Alchemy doesn't have any other YouTube names. And I kind of liked the whole alchemy part of it because that's exactly what I do with this channel. I take substances or objects and I transform them into something else. And when you create art, it's also self-transformative and hopefully giving ideas to others to transform their art. Hence the name Kim's Art Alchemy. So I hope you stick with this and I just wanted to explain that. So again, Kim's Creations is gonna be Kim's Art Alchemy. Bye for now. Welcome, okay. So this week's 1000 and below challenge is to do a blowout and have negative space. And this challenge was given to us by the lovely Jessica Winterstrom of Winterstrom Art. And I had the wonderful opportunity to take a class from her at PORCON. And I highly suggest that if you're gonna take any classes that uh, she be a teacher to take one from. It was fun, informative, and I learned a lot. I am using the Bloom recipe. It is very hot here in Arizona, so my base paint is quite thin. It's thinner than what I would really like for it to be. I'm hoping it'll be okay though. I have a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas, and these are my colors, and I got this color palette off of Pinterest, and um, I'll throw up the picture right here. And so these are my colors to hopefully get as close to that as possible. So this one is a combination of sea green and cactus green by Arteza. And I did put these in the same order as the picture that I just flashed up. This here is a combination of TLP and Whitehaven together. I think I just saw a blob, a, a gloop of something, probably dried paint as I mixed that back up. Look at that beauty. I just needed to lighten it up a little bit, so that's why I added the sea glass. This is Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. And I think this is one of my favorite new colors. This is Violet Rain, also by TLP. Just gorgeous. And my last color is Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. So those are my base colors. I'm gonna have two CAs. I'm going to have white. And I am also, and then my white is a 50-50 mix of Atelier and Amsterdam Titanium Whites. And my blue is Amsterdam Greenish Blue. So those are the two CAs. All right, let's get started. So what I'm gonna try and do is get down a, a pretty thin base here. Well, the paint's thin at any rate. Um, and because this paint is gonna dry quickly, I don't want to have a mound uh, showing, which can happen if you leave that paint sitting too long. So I'm just gonna spread this paint out and it'll help my paints also kind of get to the edge. Um, as I want negative space, I don't wanna have too, too much paint on my canvas to spin off and then drag my my composition over the edge. So I'm hoping that does not happen. So I'm gonna have to be careful. <laughs> it's been oh, a long time since I've done this type of painting. And so I'm gonna do my bloom right about in here, which is where I am putting 
the bulk, I guess, that, that little kind of center bit in here. And my intent is to blow it that way. All right. My base paint is uh, PPG Multi Pro in eggshell. Look at these, these little openings. All right, got rid of those and cover, cover my corners. Corners are always the hardest to get covered. You guys notice that? It's a pain. All right, let's get started. So I don't need to use too, too much paint. So let's do a nice little circle there. So I have about just larger than a quarter blob of paint. And I'm going to try and do a similar amount for all of these. I'm just going to drizzle it on. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. This one for sure, because it's going to be an opaque. So not too much of that one. Get my violet rain on. So pretty, that color. I think I want a little more. I think I want more, more, more. Okay, and last but not least, Okay, I think we're ready. I just see one bubble. I mixed up these paints um, a couple days ago. And when you do that, if you have um, pigments, you do want to make sure that you stir everything up again really well so that those pigments float back up and recolor your base paint. All right, here we go. Cell activator. Almost put it in the wrong spot. So I used to put in the CAs like in the middle, but I'm blowing up. So just go towards the bottom. Get a nice line of that in there. Okay, my trusty hair dryer here, the little flower hair dryer. Okay, wow. I like that. I'm just going to tip it a little, stretch that out, get the weight of the paint moving that way. Oh, it kind of looks like a coral fan. Just trying to open that up. I may need to get my straw. That is really pretty. Just gonna let that sit for a little minute. Just gonna stretch, stretch, stretch by tilting. See, 
see that paint is sliding that way. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna give this a little spin. In the interest of everybody's sanity, I do end up cutting out most of the spinning. I like that. I like it, I like it. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. I am going to just smooth out the paint here. Cover the sides of my canvas. I think I'm pretty happy with this. The only thing I'm gonna do now is um, give it a little torch. Not too many bubbles. And I think I'm gonna embellish it. It does look like fan seaweed to me. So let's turn it into more of a fan. Spin to smooth it out and I think I'm done. Done zo. All right, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. I am going to bring you down and uh, we'll have a look at the results here. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if I can bring you in. See some of the shine that's in there. That sparkly, sparkly green. And I love that blue. I don't think I'm doing this justice for picking up the shimmer. I haven't quite figured out how to do that, honestly. See it there? Wow, look at that. All right. Well, stay tuned for the dried results. I'll be back. I also want to remind you to stick around because Tammy DeCaro is up next. Well, here's the finished piece. And you can see all that shine in the sunlight there. I think it turned out pretty well. Let me know what your thoughts are on this piece. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up notification bell. And the next time I upload a video, you will be notified. Thanks for being here.